Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to see that how we can download, install and use Super Putty for free. For Super Putty guys, we should also have Putty pre-installed in your desktop. But I don't have, so I have to download uh, both Putty and Super Putty. So first I'll download those and then we will install. So simply I have to do Google search for uh, download Putty and the very first link which comes after doing Google search I'll select that and uh, here you can see download Putty so you can download Putty from here so I'll just click on this and I've already downloaded guys so I've downloaded the 64-bit x86 which is uh, 0.76 installer.msi file so i have downloaded already this file and also i have to download uh, super putty so again the very first links which comes which is uh, puttyagent.com so i'll just go on this here you can see under content you will find out the option of super putty download and here you will find a lot of options so i have chosen this option download super putty setup 1.4.0.9.msi so i've already downloaded it so i'll just show you that folder so this is the folder where i've downloaded both the software the putty and the super putty so i'll first install putty double click on this it is saying welcome to the putty release 0 0.7664 bit setup wizard and next and uh, this is the location uh, where uh, the destination file is going to get uh, installed that is c drive program files putty so this is this is the location which you need to remember because uh, because when you when you will do certain settings in super putty you have to remember or you have to actually uh, mention this particular location for putty so this is the location i'll do next i'll do simply i'll do install it will ask for permission yes and it is getting installed so it will take some time and i'll do now completed the putty release 0 0.7664 bit setup wizard click finish so i'll just click on finish so i've completed the installation of putty now i'll do the installation for super putty so welcome to the super putty setup wizard i'll do next and this are the uh, this is the license agreement if you want to read you can read it uh, so i'll do i'll accept the terms and i'll do next this is the location of super putty i'll do next this is telling me to install i'll do i'm doing yes and here also i have need to give some permissions so launch super putty i'll do tick mark yes and i'll do finish because the super putty setup installation is completed so i'll click on finish so this is the uh, interface of super putty so in order to use super putty we need to link super putty with putty so for that uh, there's an option over here that is tools under this tools actually there's an option name as options so you have to click on this particular options and i'll just click on this so guys here you can see uh here in general under the general tab there are a lot of tabs over here uh, which are very useful so under this general tab you will find out here so putty.exe location so i told you that you have to remember the location for the putty so i have to actually browse that particular location so i'll just browse over here so I'll just browse and you can see that here in the program files, C drive program files putty, I'll find this putty file. So I'll just open over here and this is what we need to mention. I'll do OK. And now my putty is ready to use. So what I'll do is I'll show you uh, taking logging to some of my device. The major advantage of using super putty is that you get untapped uh, you know, versions. You can open multiple uh, tabs in a single interface of super putty so this is a very big advantage of using super putty over putty so i just do maybe you can know, get a lot of options over here ssh ssh2 telnet so i will use telnet uh, i'll use my router my router ip is 
you can use here the username the username is login and the password I'll put okay and I'll just need to click over here connect or even if I can press enter as well so I'll connect now so you can see guys that I'm able to log in into my uh, router so this is how uh, the interface uh, looks like and uh, I'll just do the full screen so if I want to log in into a second device in Putty, you know, it wouldn't be that convenient as it is in Super Putty. So I want to log in into some other other router, let's say 10.1.1.2, which is having the same login and uh, password. Okay, so I just need to change the IP address and I'll connect, I'll click on connect. And you can see that, you know, uh, I've opened this 10.1.1.2 so I can easily you know switch my uh, tabs over here that is if I can just go on 1.1.1.1 if I want I can go on this 1.1.1.2 so this is the major advantage of using uh, super putty again you'll get a lot of options uh, over here if you go on this tools as I told you this particular options you will get a lot of options over here related to GUI you can change the font size and uh, the the font style and the font actual font so you can do a lot of settings over here as well and uh, also the shortcuts this is a very useful thing like for full screen it is f11 so if i press f11 my screen will be full so a lot of options next tab previous tab switch sessions duplicate sessions so a lot of options over here you can get again advanced you can just figure out I won't have to have done some changes in advance because it's not required but uh, this shortcuts tab is very 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 useful you can customize as per your requirement so guys in this video actually I want to show you how to actually use this or download and install Putty Super Putty because these are very useful and Super Putty is very convenient uh, to use as compared to Putty so I'll recommend this to to network engineers to use this super putty because uh, it will save you a lot of time so guys i'll stop here i'll catch up you in the next video till then bye thanks and take care